This video will show you how to apply the congruence rule of RHS, or right angle hypotenuse side. You'll be able to tell a right angle triangle by the fact that it has that right angle marking showing that its bottom corner is 90 degrees. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right angle triangle and it is directly opposite the right angle. This right angle triangle is showing us that we have a hypotenuse of 10 meters and a shorter side of 8 meters. I can see straight away that I have that right angle. I'm going to color that in orange. My hypotenuse, I'm going to color in blue. And my shorter side, I'm going to color in green. Go through this congruence rule step by step. First off, I'm going to label my triangles so I have something to refer to. When I'm showing my right angle, I'm having to make sure that I do show this as an angle. So angle ABC is congruent to angle DEF on shape two. My hypotenuse I know is directly opposite my right angle. So for my H, I'm going to show that side AC is congruent to side DE. Again, traveling in that same direction each time. The last part of the rule is that other side, which I've colored in green, which is eight meters. So I'm going to go down this way on each. So I can say that side, side CB is congruent to side FE. And then I'll have to make my congruence statement. So therefore, triangle ACB is congruent to triangle DF. E. And I'll also have to put in brackets at the end the rule that I used, which was RHS.